Hey, I'm the lady friend one. Um, we're back with another cosplay tutorial. Uh, this is for the Daryl Dixon vest I made. I am gonna warn you, I've, as you've already probably seen, I've started changing my camera angles um, since I'm using my phone now instead of a webcam. So you'll notice that it'll go from kind of grainy to better quality video partway through. Um, apologize for that, but let me know which way you prefer to see the video uh, down in the comment section, but otherwise let's just get on into it. So to make this vest, I'm just using like a standard vest sewing pattern and some black pleather since I don't really do a lot of leather working. Um, and it's just cheaper for me, so I, I go that route. Um, so for the back piece, you're going to trace and cut out on the fold of your fabric. And then for the front pieces, you're just going to trace two of those and cut them out with your fabric shears. So the sides of Daryl's vest actually isn't sewn together. It's laced up with like grommets and lacing. So instead, the only things we have to sew are the top shoulders together on the backs and the fronts. And then obviously all of the hemming. I did all of mine by hand after I pinned everything. You can do it by machine. You'll need heavy duty needles. I just didn't have any at this time. Next, you'll wanna mark uh, along the sides where you're going to put your holes and use a punching tool to punch those in for our grommets. Um, you need five per section, so five for the front right, five for the front left, five for the back right, five for the back left. Um, and then I just used a hammer and anvil set. You could obviously also use a grommet press for some brass grommets. Um, and they should probably be like quarter inch or smaller. You can then use like a black cord for the lacing on each side. You'll basically want to make two X's for the pattern and then the tie off at the bottom. That's why it's five grommets on each side. Now I didn't really have a pattern for the wings, so what I'm doing is I'm putting some painter's tape down on one side of the vest and drawing the wings onto that um, to ensure it'll fit and is the proper size. I then peeled that off and stuck it on the back of some paper, cut it out, and then that's what I used to trace onto this kind of like fraying, tattery white fabric that I just found in a remnants bin at a fabric store. Um, traced two wings and cut them out. Actually, my go-to to make patterns a lot of time is painter's tape and duct tape. It's just sometimes you need to determine do you put plastic wrap down or not. Um, since the painter tape was going to do no damage to the pleather fabric, I didn't have anything to worry about. If you do want to worry about, you know, like if you're doing it on a body part, put plastic wrap down first. That way it won't rip out every hair on your body. Um, but yeah, good tactic for making patterns. Now Daryl's wings have a bunch of black edging. You technically could do like embroidery to create those lines or just sewing. Um, I decided to just take a black Sharpie. I, I honestly, this wasn't like something I was planning to compete with, so I wasn't worried about doing something super complicated, but that's what I did. So just outlined with Sharpie and then I used contact cement to glue it to the, the vest since it was pretty flexible still after the fact um, and it held really well. Now Daryl has been in a zombie apocalypse, so we obviously need some weathering. This looks too nice and new. So I'm literally just to create like some damaged battle wounds and even holes that are natural. I'm just taking a rock and a hammer and banging between the two. Um, that's one technique. Now to fray the edges of the cord that's tying the vest together, I just used an X-Acto and kind of fiddled with the end so that way it'd be nice and frayed. I also, just to make it look a bit more aged, I did some tea painting. So basically I just took a tea bag, dunked it in some water for a little bit, and dragged the bag across the fabric for the white wings to make them a little bit dingier than they already were. I also used a handheld belt sander to go ahead and weather the fabric even more. This is for the black pleather and the white fabric. Um, you could technically use a Dremel. My problem with Dremels is because it's like a circular rotation is it gets wrapped up really easy. That's why I like the belt sander a little bit better. The last thing I did to fully weather this vest was I took some brown paint and an airbrush and went along all of the edges and did some of the middle areas as well. But that's pretty much how I created a weathered uh, Daryl Dixon vest. Thanks so much for watching this cosplay crafting tutorial. Sorry if it was a bit of a mess. Uh, if you want to see what we made actually with the finished cosplay, make sure to check the links in my description and let me know what your crafting questions are in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see what I'm crafting up next. Bye bye